Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust. This is my friend or my foe. I'm off the exit, bro. Yeah, she give me that claim as well. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy. Now they feel like no one understands. Welcome to Boxer Behind the Scenes. You're gonna get a little bit of an insight into what we actually do every week. Well, I'm Jamie Jewett, we're in Paddington in London and I'm just about to record for the Ultimate Boxer podcast. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go in there, chat all things boxing, talk about my experiences with boxing, talk about my fellow love owner, the Jack Charles, who's just signed me, you guys, and just have a good old chinwag, really, about the, uh, about the sport we all love. What is it with Love Island and boxing? Because you, <laughs> you love boxing as well, and we've heard, you know, you, you've been looking into it, you've always wanted to box, you've been a good boxer. But from a young age, I've always kept up with training, and I even started modelling when I was 16, so I got thrown into that randomly. My mum took me up to walk into London when I was a kid. She was like, Come on, she should be a model. So I started doing that, and then the boxing training sort of, I was training a lot for fitness, yeah. but the sparring and that sort of had to take a back seat because you can't be turning around to cast into black eyes yeah. and whatnot. We are launching Ultimate Boxer, how many is it now? Seven. Um, it's the first four-man tournament we've done. And so luckily the board have helped us get that over the line. Covid restrictions meant that the eight-man we couldn't do. And so, to be honest, it's been hectic. It's the first time working with ITB and BT, two broadcast partners, bringing on new sponsors as well, new recruits, new office, so everyone Everything feels new. To be honest, I'm not really involved now in the releases at all. Focusing on the commercial partners, the broadcast partners, making sure they're all happy. Um, but it seems like everyone's uh, getting to grips with it now. really exciting for us now because we're kind of entering a new chapter for the business. It's the first show where we've got fighters that we've got long-term agreements with alongside a brand new format with like a four-man competition. So we feel like we've put together a show that's got a bit of everything. Um, really excited to see how a four-man plays out. So we're interested in telling the stories of them fighters over the coming months and also having the first show with our champions back on. So we've got Derek and Mikel back on the show. Um, so our first campaign with them as represent them as like their official promoter. And then we've got two massive stars with Florian, the Albanian sensation back on the card with all his fans that he brings and of course Jack Fincham. So his debut has been coming for months. We've been planning it behind the scenes. We've got a reality show on to go into the next couple of months which is a weekly episode on the Sun's YouTube and then Jack's pro debut with Ben Davison. So there's so much to kind of get into over the next, the next couple of months. Really, really exciting. It's just that now we've got to tell the stories and show everything that we've been working on. On these days, I just want to get through them and just be on my own, yeah. Just be on five computers all around. For me, it was always an idea. Like he'd always told me, like I want to do this. Like I want to get back into it. Like I want to make it happen. And you kind of it started to get a little bit more serious. Over lockdown, he was like training, training, training. Then kind of it was the, during the end, he was like, right, no, I'm I'm planning on doing something. And he wouldn't tell me. He wouldn't tell me. And then suddenly, this big announcement. He's like, I'm going pro. And then Ben Davidson's involved. I'm like, this is this this is a big deal. Think, take it like as, as, a, as a joke, like, you know, you don't know, like, oh, I've been around like, boxing people, like, even like, I work 
you know, working with like Steve Bunce and like yeah. boxing legends and people like that. Like, so not 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 so much like you're like in a straight line, more like like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, I've seen him do, like, the first time I saw him box where we begged and begged and begged the producers on Love Island to go give us some pads. And Jack was like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. And as soon as I was, like, he was holding the pads for me and I thought, okay, yeah, sweet, this is good. And then I had to hold the pads for him and I, like, genuinely, I was putting my hands in the pool. <laughs> my wrists were in absolute shock. I thought, he's got a bit. And like, we always used to talk about boxing. And then he always used to, he'd be walking around and he'd be going, <laughs> And you just get up like right, an inch from your face and start praying. I'm thinking, Jack, leave me alone. <laughs> Join us each week to check in on the fighters and promotion in the build-up to November 10th, exclusively on Box Up Behind the Scenes.